Oh my god! Let us read you exactly what they I said. We asked the stranger to sleep over in their house. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, boys. That's your next mission. Artificial intelligence. What in most Hollywood movies embodies the end of the world. But in reality, artificial intelligence has the potential to be the gateway for exponential improvements in many kinds of technologies and solve problems we never could have imagined solving otherwise. And it already exists all around us. To define it, artificial intelligence, or AI, refers to the simulation of human intelligence and machines that in some cases are programmed to think like humans, are able to learn and solve problems. And recently, our friend Tyler Weitzman introduced us to one of the more advanced forms of artificial intelligence currently in development, only accessible by select developers like himself. Tyler has invented over 30 apps since teaching himself to code at age nine. He studied at Stanford and published computer science research in AI. And he has since started his own company, which has gotten him chased down by Silicon Valley's top investors. To put it simply, the AI that we have access to today has basically absorbed all of the internet. We are using GPT-3 to generate AI ideas for YouTube videos using a um, neural network deep natural language generation model. I don't know what any of that means, but when we input all of our previous Yes Theory video titles, the AI generated hundreds of episode concepts for us. These are so random. I got married to a stranger in London, world's largest water slide in Australia. Eat at the world's most haunted restaurant, world's smallest hotel room. My favorite one, hiding $100,000 of cocaine inside my body for 24 hours. Inside my body? Could this machine understand what a spontaneous adventure entails? And if so, where would it send us? Well, while honestly not not knowing the answer to that question, we decided to fly out our friend Tyler and our friend Eric Tabak, who is slowly becoming more and more of a regular in our Yes Theory episodes, will be joining me on this wild adventure. And so, welcome to the future. So we're right now working with most advanced artificial intelligence, GP, U3. Is that right? <laughs> Can't even say it. What does that stand for? Uh, general uh, PP intelligence. <laughs> it, it, it stands more for a generative pre-training. Oh, I, that's what I think. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> Is this the dumbest use of your AI so far? Absolutely. <laughs> After a full morning of experimentation, we discovered that the best way this AI could generate actual things for us to do and control our adventure would be if we write our prompts like dialogue in a book that then treats us like characters in that story. This is the input that we give the AI. Yes Theory is a YouTube channel where Thomas Bragg and his friends go on adventures that get them to say yes to uncomfortable situations where they believe that the best things in life will happen when you step outside of your comfort zone. And then the dialogue starts Quotes, okay, Thomas, we figured out your location. You'll be going to the state of North Dakota. North Dakota, Thomas says. <laughs> North Dakota, Thomas says. The least visited state in the United States. What the hell am I going to do there? So what, we just go to North Dakota? Yeah, well, you go and then text us from the airport what you want us to ask it next. You're going so far. Where is North Dakota? I don't, even, I don't know. Should it's we? above South Dakota. <laughs> All right, Thomas asks, what city in North Dakota will you be sending me to? Yes, theory team answered. Enter. The city of Bismarck. Bismarck. Bismarck, Thomas said. That's the capital of North Dakota, right? <laughs> You're so knowledgeable. <laughs> it uses a statistical model based on everything that it's learned to generate new information. But don't we oh. all? <laughs> don't you get it? Yeah, yeah, yeah I get it. Dude, we're writing a whole book. This is amazing. But we're also still having to go to North Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> The strangest thing about this story is that this AI not only seemed to perfectly understand what a Yes Theory adventure was, it also seemed to be predicting things that were going to happen in the future. Thomas and Eric went to the airport. They waited in line for a very long time. <laughs> it first predicted that our flight was going to be late, which it was. Then the first destination it initially told us to fly to when we were just testing it was the country of Myanmar. And in our connecting flight through Minneapolis, we stumbled into a gathering of locals from Myanmar greeting Miss Myanmar herself for a fundraising event for refugees from the country. Yeah. We're meeting Myanmar what in Minneapolis. It? Oh, wow. It's the weirdest it's situation. Perfect. Show our gratitude to that. Uh, AI? Yes, yeah. Yeah. Show, all, show our gratitude. You. You. <laughs> yeah. you guys, like, yeah. Upon arriving in Bismarck Airport, Thomas and Eric 
Whoa, that's cool. The AI first told them that someone from our Yes Theory community should come to pick uh, us up. This is a little random, but if you're in Bismarck, North Dakota, we need your help for something. And so when we arrived, we were told to get in the car with someone with a giant gray teddy bear and wait for further instructions. What's going on, dude? <laughs> I'm Thomas. Hi, Nicole. Nicole. Welcome to our huge airport. Yeah, it's, it's You're the one that is the gatekeeper to the next. I am the gatekeeper. So your next clue is you're supposed to meet the governor and stay <laughs> at his mansion. Oh my God! Yes, dude, that's a, this AI is brilliant. How do we get? How do we do that? I'll take you to the capital. Try find him. Oh so my God! You, you can't write this yourself. That's this crazy. So it came up with here. that. Wow. I brought you some tea. Oh, that's oh, so sweet. Oh wow! Thank you so much. Is, oh, thank you. Wait, what, what has she told you? She's told us that we're supposed to try to meet the governor. Let us read you exactly what the AI said. You'll be staying at the governor's mansion tonight. The governor's mansion, Thomas said. I'm not sure I'll be able to stay tonight, but maybe we can take him on adventure in his home state, North Dakota, to go and do something he's never done before. How do we, how do we meet the governor? That's your next mission. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Also, AI had said that the person delivering us this message should be wearing Seek Discomfort, so we'll be gifting you a $100 gift card for the Seek oh, Discomfort yes. store, just as a thank you for picking us up and delivering this message. I was just being a friendly North Dakotan. Oh, like <laughs> See you later. We're at the Capitol building of North Dakota. Sure. I, how's it going? What was that? I don't know. Just awkwardly saying hi to these two little boys. What's up? How's it going? <laughs> Doug Burgum, an American entrepreneur and politician serving as the 33rd and current governor of North Dakota since 2016. He sold the company to Microsoft for $1.1 billion in 2001. <laughs> what? This guy's a billionaire? There he is. Should we just walk around? Hmm, <laughs> interesting. Can this do anything? Oh. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Doug Burgum, if you're listening, <laughs> we would really like to meet you today. <laughs> I don't even know what we're doing now. We're just like walking around. <gasps> How did artificial intelligence bring us here? <laughs> and the door is just open. We are literally walking around the Capitol building right now. It feels like we're sneaking in. And we ask people like, "How come?" They're just like, "Well, it's North Dakota." How come? It's just it's North Dakota. They don't have the security. It's not like Seattle. We're from Seattle. That's the that's the governor's office. Wait, did you go inside? No. How you doing? Hi. <laughs> Great. <laughs> we were trying to meet. Doug, I mean, we've already, we, we know that he's don't not call here. Doug. Dougie? No. <laughs> don't listen to him. We make videos about saying yes and getting out of our comfort zone. Okay. So we've done everything from throwing a dart at a map and flying yeah, wherever we land. Friends who gave us access to one of the world's most advanced uh, artificial intelligence. This morning when we arrived, it said your objective in North Dakota is to try to meet the governor. Uh, we haven't got a request like this before, so you know, we'll look into it. Really? You don't happen. <laughs> You've never had an AI. You've never had an, uh, an AI you offer. <laughs> You're more awkward than I am. <laughs> Dougie, man, I, I know him. He's my guy. That you, you set it up as that. <laughs> at his secretary's house. We'll see if it goes anywhere. As we kept walking around, our cameras attracted a lot of attention, and many strangers came to talk to us. We then met someone who happened to know the governor really well. He's in Minneapolis. He's in Minneapolis? Yeah. That's where we just were. I just talked to him last night. Oh, what? Know you know him? him? Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> we're in North Dakota, small state. I think yeah. everybody knows him. I'll text him and see when he's coming back. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> how, do you, how do you know him? It's just a small world? Yeah. Well, yeah. He's from Fargo. I'm from Fargo. Okay. Um, that's my father. My father's uh, uh, <laughs> what? award right there. He's oh. <laughs> Great to meet you. Oh, wow. How do you do? <laughs> Wait, he just answered well, that's you? That's our governor. <laughs> He answered question mark, yes, theory. Yeah, yeah. Stay away from them. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, I got so scared. Yeah. So now he knows oh, that we're looking for him. That <laughs> sounded really creepy, I'm sorry. I'm working Monday in Fargo, so I won't be back Bismarck till Monday night. Yeah. So how do we, how do we, get, it's three hours away from Oh, here. only three hours? Mm -hmm. Drive. Easy. Is it weird if we like drive to where he is? This is already so weird that I don't think we can make it much weirder. Hey man, an AI told us we have to meet you. Is it okay if we drive to you though? He's like, I don't think the driving part is what's weird. <laughs> Nikki's mansion is right down there, right? Should we just go check it out? That's it. Wow, there's just like a little fence around it. <laughs> I'm gonna be on some watch list walking up to this. Like 10 people have already texted him about us and now we're at his house. <laughs> this 
is the mansion that the AI told us to try to sleep in tonight. And he's not here. The local number just called me. Hello? Oh, hi, this is uh, Thomas Bragg. Um, so we uh, have a YouTube channel called Yes Theory. So we're using this artificial intelligence to create the storyline for our episode. Just trying to see if there's any way we could potentially get to meet him. Thank you so much, Mike. All right, have a good day. This came from the governor's office. My pitch. How is this happening so fast? Like the fact that we're already in touch with everyone in the government in North Dakota in a matter of hours is insane. So he, the communications director just messaged me saying, Governor Bergen will be available to meet with you in Fargo on Monday morning. Three days from now. Wow, well we freaking did it, man. Let's get a tour of freaking North Dakota. Let's go. All right, so given a quick update from the control room, Tyler played around today and was able to put the AI framework into the app that he's been building, Sonic. So now Thomas and Eric are actually able to talk to the AI. Didn't they just input something? Uh, yeah, he told them to go to a bar. They, oh, damn. So they're in a bar they're in North Dakota bar, right now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, amazing. Oh, no. Eric and Thomas are at the bar. Eric is feeling spontaneous, so he decides to. They both took a shot of tequila. They were feeling so good that they decided to do a shot of whiskey. Oh, my God. I don't drink. But if the AI says it... This is my whole hand. Time. Check out what I sent you. If you ask a stranger to sleep over in their house. This AI is f***ing with me right now. This guy comes up and he says, I want to invite you to my house tonight. It feels like whatever the AI writes, it happens. We've been invited to a stranger's house and we're going to see, meet the governor in two days. North Dakota is the coolest place ever. I feel like I'm being thrown in the deep end with yesterday. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Best directions ever. <laughs> Just don't ever stop. This is your house? Yeah, is it right sir. here? What? Oh my god. We're moving to North Dakota. <laughs> Thank you for inviting us here. Seriously, this is very, very serendipitous and it's the best kind of encounter. <laughs> oh. What? There are so many ways. I mean, inviting, getting invited to a stranger's house at a bar could get worse. This is the best kind of possible way. How you doing, man? Hey. This is your dad? Yeah. We literally met him and your dad goes, you guys should come over to my house. <laughs> <laughs> it all works out. It, uh, yeah, let us yeah. here. Oh, okay. Wow. You guys don't have to take oh issues, my though. God. I guess his son oh, uh, just watch. invited a bunch of friends who are fans. So oh, we're going to meet him. And I don't know what time it is. It's 2 a.m. What are we doing right now? James, what an adventure we had. That was fun. Legendary. Yeah. <laughs> random, but legendary. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Thank you. Bye. Okay. That was insane. He didn't care who we were, what we wanted, or why. He just wanted to spend time with us. Like, he just wanted us to come over and hang. So we've just been back at our hotel for about an hour. And I asked, I said, Eric and Thomas spent the night at a stranger's house. They met at the bar. Like you freaking asked. The next day they wanted to see some nature. So they decided to. Go to the Theodore Roosevelt National Park after a long day of exploring the park. Where's, the Where's this National, pa National Park? Where is that? I'm gonna message the subscriber who's been like in contact with us. And then hopefully they can come pick us up. We've been wearing the same clothes for, I look so bad, for three days now. What am I doing? My hair, my everything. I'm, ugh. We're way overstaying what we initially expected. I had one day worth of clothes. Our road trip partners are here. Brian? <laughs> yeah. I'm so public. <laughs> no, I told us we should go to the theater of Roosevelt. Oh, park. Yeah. yeah. So that's kind of what I had already planned on. Like, oh, perfect. So, uh, the AI knew, the AI. as it always knows. <laughs> Let's start this bad boy. We're going on a road trip in North Dakota, I guess. <laughs> Hello. 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 Hello.
just arrived at the Theodore Roosevelt National Park. Wild buffaloes, huh? He's, He's staring at us. us. And to finish off our day, we attended the main local musical. That's so flavorful. And somehow ran into Bill from the Capitol building. What are you guys doing here? We're following you. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's a little creepy. Oh, yeah. How are you doing? Hey! I'm like, what? You? How are you? Apparently everyone knows each other here. Yeah. So the, the two groups of people that we've met know each other. That's so bizarre. I've been thanking them and all of our sponsors. <laughs> Brian loves to sing. I do. I can't stop it. <laughs> Four in North Dakota. It is time. We are 15 minutes out of meeting billionaire governor of North Dakota. Finally tie the knot on this full experience that this AI has taken us on. <laughs> Welcome to North Dakota. It's been wonderful. <laughs> I'm so pumped that you're here. Oh my god. It's so great to meet you. Bring it in there, man. Oh. <laughs> We've been loving your state. Well, we really we're, have. We're so happy you're here. Did you guys make it out west? Did you get to the Badlands before you came here? So look, at, look at that. We saw the Medora musical. Oh, you did? Which was great. Isn't yeah. That a, isn't that a hoot? I mean, it's, what? It's yeah. a hoot. Yes, it's a hoot. Yes, we say yes, H O O T, a hoot. It's a hoot. Learning the local <laughs> slang. Yeah. <laughs> so Eric and I took the first flight, landed, and then as soon as we landed, it says, Great, now you should try to meet the governor <laughs> and get to do something he's never done before with him. And we're like, How are we going to do now that? Now you have. Now you've done both of those exactly. things. Exactly. Wrong love what you guys are doing uh, because I'm a uh, proponent of the yes theory and feel grateful that I've been able to in my life say yes to a lot of adventures. My dad passed away when I was a freshman in high school after a two month, two year battle with uh, brain cancer and at age 54 and there was a part of me that something clicked in my brain that just said life is short. The decision tree that I had very on in life was well if I do this today well, I remember it you know, on my deathbed. Any day is a great day if you can remember it when you're old. And so there's, so that's been part of the philosophy. I love that I've been to take. Every day is a great day. When I was 19, yeah. I hitchhiked from my hometown of uh, 350 people, Arthur, North Dakota. I hitchhiked from there to Alaska on a two-month journey. That's a long trip. It is a long trip. So you, you've been embodying, I feel like, the message of some discomfort in so many ways. I've heard you've already been skydiving, you've been parasailing. That's yes. correct, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and of course, part of that then led to my current thing, because this was a giant, gigantic seeking discomfort risk thing to leave the private sector and jump into the great public service. Yeah. I feel like there's a lot of synergy in how we think yeah. about life. Yes. And it's, yeah. the AI maybe had a plan that even we could never have predicted right. ourselves. Right. So. But I'm, I'm really excited for you and your partners and what you're doing because I love uh, watching young entrepreneurs take risks. The world doesn't go forward without them, so. That's very true. Sweet, yeah. should we go inside? Thank you so much for opening for us. Well, we're about to throw some axes with the governor of North Dakota. So is this a challenge? I guess so. I think so, yeah. Let's do it. Oh! I got sight. Game is on. Close game. 
Thank you for inspiring people to get out of their comfort zone. Thanks for coming to North Dakota. Thanks for sharing the beautiful state, the beautiful people, the welcoming people that we have here. You're about passion, you're about adventure, you're about compassion, and you guys really are changing the lives of people. I appreciate that. The yes theory is no longer a theory. The yes theory is actually a fact because you say yes to North Dakota and great things happen. Perfect way to end it. There we go. <laughs> Honestly, the crazy thing about this whole adventure is that going out, we had absolutely no idea if we would actually be able to understand and generate what a spontaneous adventure would actually look like. But it did. And our initial excitement for North Dakota was basically non-existent. But the main takeaway we got from this often forgotten state of the Midwest is not only that the people were some of the kindest and most welcoming we've met so far in the US, but also that even in a state as inconspicuous as North Dakota, that there's always a path to creating your own adventure wherever you are in the world. And the coincidences between what the AI was telling us and what ended up happening to us were definitely strange. But I guess those were just coincidences, right? Or did this AI know more than we did? Well, I guess we'll never know. We'll see you next week. Look at me! I can't see Look you. at me! You have 10 seconds to give me access to the AI. I don't have Give it. me access to the AI! I don't have it! You are lying to me. I don't like liars. We found your phone. Tell me what is this? That, that's not the AI. That's Discord. What is Discord? Discord? Discord is actually the sponsor of today's video. Discord is an instant messaging platform designed for creating communities through voice calls, video calls, and text messaging. And they recently launched a new feature called Stage Channels, which are special types of communal voice channels for audio-only conversations, where members of the audience can join in. People can join in? Wait, people are watching this? And we're hosting one on June 29th at 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. We're gonna be discussing some behind the scenes of some of the episodes we've shot this season and any other questions you've been wanting to ask us. We're extremely excited to have a platform to communicate directly with the Yes Fam in a simple and efficient way. All you need is a Discord account. It's completely free and takes less than 15 seconds to join. Click the invite link in the description below and I'll see you on the other side. Don't forget to add this to your calendar. It's June 29th at 7 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. We're gonna be talking directly with a few of you guys and answering tons of questions on the Yes Theory Discord group. We're looking forward to seeing you then. Can I come?